Okay, this will show you how to use Storyboard that. Now, just one note, I am using a Windows 8 machine, which is different to your Windows 7 machine that you'll be using. Make the appropriate uh, changes where required. To actually get to Storyboard that, what you need to do is open up Internet Explorer. And in the top bar up the very top, we can actually just type in www.storyboardthat.com. So once we've typed in www.storyboard that, we'll actually see their main page appear. Now you're more than welcome to click on the play, the play video of YouTube or read through any material, or even see some previous examples that other people have done. But at the very top, we can actually see this create your own storyboard. If we click that button, what will actually happen is it will load, without even having to log in, a simple three by one storyboard. Now it will take some time for a lot of the characters and animations to actually load alongside the textable icons and images that get used. So just give it a few moments just to load up. Okay, that looks a little bit better. So what we're going to do is let's actually start creating a storyboard. And we can do that just by having under the characters, let's say we want an adult, we can actually just drag and drop that adult in. Now when we drag and drop him in, we can actually resize him so he's larger, and we can actually choose things like the hair color, depending on what color we want it to be. So let's give him brown hair. And red shoes. Okay, now that we're actually happy with that, we can actually click away. The very next thing that we want to do is let's, let's actually add something that he's saying. So we can click on textables, and we can actually say all these different things. Let's drag and drop a thought bubble on. When you actually drag and drop it on, you can actually choose a number of different things. You can choose your text type. Let's actually just go with Times New Roman. And size 12 and black in color is fine. You can see just by typing in text, you can actually see it will actually wrap itself around that cloud bubble um, or any shape that you select automatically. Again, once you're happy with that, you could resize it if you want to. You could even rotate it as well. It's up to you. And then just clicking away will save that. The very next thing that we can do is let's actually add a scene. Now a scene, if we click on the scenes tab, will take a little bit longer to load than the other ones because the image is larger. But you can see that all these little icons are here. So let's actually select one that might suit, drag and drop it down, and it actually goes into the background. Now, what we can actually see is we've got character, we've got a scene, and we have a number of other different options up here. So characters, scenes, textables, whether it be at home, town, school, work, simple, outdoors, there's a whole heap of options to explore and to use. And again, some do actually have the customization even within that to choose what color that you want. Once you've actually done all three scenes, and here's one that I've prepared earlier, we can actually go through and actually print this off. Or if we want more grid squares, we could actually log on and create an account with the company, or we could actually use the snipping tool. Now, to get the snipping tool for Windows 7, you would click down on the start button and type in snipping tool. Windows 8 is a slight bit different. So when I click the start button, I can just start typing snipping tool and you'll see that it actually comes up over on the right. So once you've loaded the snipping tool, it does look the same again from here. We can actually just go to new. When we actually get the snip, it will turn our screen like this and we can actually just come along and drag and drop over the storyboard that part that we want. Once we have it in the snipping tool, we can select copy and that will copy it to the clipboard. Now, copying it to the clipboard allows us to paste it somewhere else. So I'm actually going to open up another program, Microsoft Word, to help me out here. To do that, in Windows 7, you can hit Start and type in, in the bottom part that appears, Microsoft Word, or any way that you're used to. But in Windows 8, again, it's clicking Start, and I'm just going to type in Word. That will open up Microsoft Word, and I'm just going to create a new blank document. And to actually get that picture that we snipped, we can actually go into Microsoft Word and we can click paste. So by clicking paste, that will actually paste our image 
into it. Now, as you can see, it didn't quite work for us. So we're actually going to go back and see what could have gone wrong. So the very first thing that may have gone wrong is it may not have copied properly. So let's just copy once more and paste. So it didn't actually copy correctly, but that's fine. Now that we've actually got these three icons, you can actually see it uses part of the Word document. If I actually go through and go on to go and create another one, so I'm actually going to go back to that first one I was creating. Let's actually go through and add the inside of the house that's out the back and one that can be colored later on, just so we have a bit of difference. Actually, better yet, we might even put the bedroom in. Now you can actually see that there's two icons here. If we don't want something, we can just hit the delete icon here and it will delete it for us. Now that we're happy with that, we'll go to our snipping tool, we'll click new, and we'll select that new section. Now that we have this new one, what we'll do is we'll click copy, go to our Microsoft Word document, and we can click paste up on the top left, we can press Control V, or we can right button click and go paste, and that will paste our second one. From here we could even go up to the top and put a heading, my story. We could even go through and put a big heading like that as well, make the text really big. So what you'll end up with is you can end up with a multiple set of stories and comic strips that go through with all those pre-done pictures. Now one thing to note is this is a website that does request or require you to actually log on and create an account, which you should do. But for trial purposes, this is definitely the way to go. Uh, if you have any questions, ask your teacher.